When Ingrid was taken away, Arianne didn't lose courage. She looked for a way to get herself and Monica out of the room. She found a wood from the old sofa she was previously sitting on and banged it on the window glass making a crashing sound. She looked around and was grateful. No one was around, so she thought. She heard men's voices running to their room that she quickly stepped away from the window. A man shouted at her mockingly and said, You think you can run away? There was us standing by. So don't you ever do something stupid or you'll regret it. You wait for your turn. You're coming in next. In the hall where the event is taking place, Ariane and Monica as well as Rain heard the announcement that the auction is about to start. The two girls and Rain froze when they heard the host asking for the bid, saying, the highest bidder will get this beautiful lady here. Then men started to howl, raising each other's hands for bidding. Ingrid was heard to be crying helplessly and men were getting more excited as they bid. Rainy was shocked over what he heard and said to himself, these mob are human traffickers. What made Dale and Raymond got involved with this organization? Hell, I have to get out of here. I must save the girls, who, my beloved Ariane. For God's sake, what's taking my men for so long? The highest bidder seemed to be a distinguished businessman, but looks eccentric. He was staring at her like a hungry wolf when Ingrid was left alone with him. Ingrid was so frightened, wanting to scream. She was thinking about what this eccentric man wanted her for, and she's becoming uneasy. Then the eccentric man took her forcibly and slumped her on a chair. He touched her face, then he suddenly opened her mouth. Ingrid was fighting him off, but he was so strong. Then he said, you have a beautiful face, silky and smooth. Your teeth are white and complete. You have a sweet breath like a strawberry. I like that. You are mine now, and you shall serve me well, my beautiful slave. If you don't want to end up ugly, you better. To my command, am I clear? Ingrid was sobbing and trembling in fear. She said, I'd rather die than be your slave. The man laughed wickedly and said, If that's what you want, so be it. I don't like a slave who goes against me. But I will have you first and die as you choose. After I am done with you, I will give your body parts to those who are willing to pay millions. That way, I got my money back in double. After the bidding of Ingrid, Raymond came to get Ariane. You're next, my alluring one. Oh, how I wanted to have... You buy myself, but you're much in demand in the auction. Be thankful I could not touch you or else Dale would kill me. You're much valuable in the auction and be sold in millions too. The highest bidder. Bad for Rainy, you will never be found after the bidding. Goodbye, my sweet lovely Ariane. Ariane fought so hard in freeing herself from Raymond's hands, slapping him and kicking him by the groin. Ariane was nearly free when... Raymond's men grabbed her. Raymond pushed and slumped her on the floor. He took out a syringe and showed it to her. Wow, you're hell like a tiger, huh? There's no escape here for this is your hell, yours and Monica. And since you're such a good fighter, I guess I have to give you this shot to weaken you. You won't be able to move because this will paralyze you temporarily and the bidding will be easier. And then you will be handed out easily too the highest bidder. You won't be able to fight him because he'll be in control over you. Goodbye, my gorgeous one. It's disappointing that I could not have you by myself. Anyway, at least I have this chance of smelling your scent and kissing you like this. Then Raymond pushed the needle to her skin as he kissed her tourly. Monica, who saw her sister's ordeal in the hands of Raymond, could only sob. Her Trauma of the past made her only weak, making her froze to fear. It was like she was in shock and about to go crazy. Is this the last of Ariane, Monica, and Ingrid? Keep stuck on your seats. Everything will be over soon. Let us wish that if all three girls were defeated, may one of them survive. Part 100 to follows next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.